Hey, John Kavakis here with a brand new edition of My Take. And today we're going to take a look at Stamps 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396. Now, in 1962, the Rambler American and the Rambler Classic had the market tied up in smaller and mid-sized cars. It was a brand new segment and people were just going nuts for them. Ford introduced their Fairlane in 1962 and it joined them in the market success and GM was kind of left out in the cold a little bit. Now they had the Corvair, they had the Chevy 2. They weren't really doing all that well. Chevy 2 was doing okay, but they were kind of languishing in the marketplace. And it wasn't until 1964 that Chevrolet and General Motors came out with their mid-size offerings. Now the Chevrolet offering was the Chevelle. And it came in a variety of different body styles. The sportiest one was called the Malibu. And it came just in time to receive some of the first of General Motors big block engines in their mid-size cars. Uh, so the Malibu got a 396 somewhere in the middle of the model year or so. Now in 1966, the SS396 became a separate nameplate, sitting there all on its own. Uh, and the second generation came along in 1968. It was a really great design. And by then the 396, the SS396 was firmly entrenched in the muscle cars wars. Of course, things were gonna go crazy in 1969, 1970, 1971. So Stamp has given us three versions of the 1969 SS396. They come in three colors, light blue, green, and yellow. There are no technical names for the paints there. That's what's on the labels. Uh, but they're really spectacular looking cars. And for me, they bring back a lot of memories. So I'm eager to get this out on the turntable and show it to you. As you can see, Stamp has the fidelity of the model nearly perfect. All the lines, all the proportions are spot on. Uh, put the calipers to it. It's an exact 143rd scale, so everything's pretty tight right there at the beginning. Around front of the car, uh, the grill is nearly perfect. Plenty of depth there. Look at the texture on those headlights. Really well done for 143rd. Great texture on the parking lights. The chrome plating is deep and lustrous. Very nicely done. Same case around back. Uh, I like the really nice little details like the exhaust tips being filled in so they've got some dimension. Badging, trim and everything, uh, excellently reproduced. The interior is dark and it's kind of hard to see the dash, but the Chevelle had that really deep dash with the gauges in it. It's really well replicated. as is the steering wheel, the door panels, the seats. Let's take a look at that finish again. I know I've mentioned this in a few videos. I've got a new process. Uh, Stamp GLM has been doing something incredible with the paint. And it goes from color to color. You take a look at that finish. And again, it's deep. It's lustrous. It's kind of groundbreaking in 143rd. Really beautiful finishes. And take a look at those wheels. You know, I'm nuts about wheels. Uh, and uh, understand that this is a really well replicated wheel, right down to the raised white letters, the SS emblem, the turn signal indicator. But this is extreme magnification. And, you know, if you're looking at this on your home computer, it's probably six, seven, eight times larger than it would be. And it still holds up well. That's the mark of a really well detailed model. Here's that beautiful yellow again. Let's take a look at the green. Uh, equally lustrous. Um, oddly enough, I, I, the way I remember the streets, blue and green were the predominant colors. I had friends that had both colors in it, and they were a lot more common than a lot of people think, but they've really done well on this green, including the detail in the side stripe, uh, the mirrors, uh, everything's just well done. Okay, there they are. The retail on them is $129. Um, they're starting to disappear. Again, the light blue is getting very difficult to find, uh, but you can get them from your favorite dealers. Legacy Diecast has them. Uh, Toy Car Geek has them uh, for, I think, $119 or so. Uh, so if you want one of these, you got to move quickly on it. Stamp's got a whole bunch of stuff coming out real quickly, and they're making their cars in limited quantities, and when they sell out, they're gone. Uh, some are starting to show up on the secondary market for considerably more than the issue price. So it's time to move on it. If this is a car that brings my memories the way that it does for me, you're going to want to have this on your shelf. Hey, thanks for spending some time with me. If you like the video, do me a favor. Give me a like, a thumbs up down there in the right hand corner. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, I, I've got some more news and more models coming up very soon. Keep your eyes open. I look forward to talking to you again soon.